Well, did you know that Naaman would have died without receiving his healing? And he would have said it is the will of God. I can tell you there are many things that are not the will of God. But Satan's authorization is because you are not yet angry enough. Mm. You are not yet angry enough. God desires that his power be revealed in my life. God desires that his power be revealed even among the foundations of Sapphire. That by next year, if Christ tarries and they come, you, you will wonder who will testify and who will not. Because it will be an abundance of the manifestation of the hand of God. Increases on all sides. Passion for God like never before. People who escape terminal diseases like smoke before the wind. hallelujah you see one thing with the truth is the bible says and you shall know the truth and if it is truth you have found there must be the corresponding liberty that means whatever you find that claims to be the truth and cannot administer liberty is not the truth hallelujah let me repeat it again for emphasis god's wonder walking power is made manifest when we call on him watch this jesus is passing jericho and theologically speaking that would be the last time jesus is passing jericho and then a man who was born blind is that in your bible that man sat there and jesus was passing as if he did not see him and the man began to shout thou son of david have mercy on me and the people there said keep quiet don't distract jesus there are serious things for him to do he says i i use my will to make my matter serious the bible says he shouted the more thou son of david have mercy on me and when that happened jesus hushed and said what should i do for you Can, that would look like sarcasm i mean what would a blind man want it would be a costly assumption to assume that a blind man would want his eyes open because in acts chapter 3 the crippled man at gate beautiful did not want healing he wanted money is that true yes the bible says he sat there begging for arms an ugly situation sitting at a beautiful gate and he was asking for arms and then Peter looked at him and said no you need more than arms he said silver and gold I do not have but such as I have give I unto you he says in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth rise up and walk the man was disappointed read your Bible he, he sat down there he didn't stand up it was Peter who reached his hand and lifted him and the Bible says the man leaping stood hallelujah are we together this is a very very powerful point because there are many believers who do not know that the wonder working power of god is made manifest when we call upon him so there are a lot of complaints and lamentations and assumptions god is it that you are watching me like this you are not going to do anything this is how you watch me i assure you while i sympathize with that lamentation by the integrity of scripture nothing will happen or another consolation we have in our world one day go better oh no the assignment of time is not to change things the assignment of time is to reveal it takes decisions decisions that are intrinsically made or outsourced you have to be able to stamp your feet and say this is the moment hallelujah like someone who has come tonight you can say this is the moment that demonic sickness must leave my body being fine today and down next week i reject it and by the way may i respectfully advise never receive old age as a license for sickness never receive old age as a license for bodily degeneration it is not in the bible hallelujah whilst it is true that based on our natural law as we age of course you may not have the strength and the vitality of a baby but it is important to know that you can enjoy the requisite level of vitality required to serve the purposes of god until your time is over never receive that if you have received this as an orientation now i respect doctors i respect medical people thank god for your contribution but i'm talking to you based on the integrity of scripture 
here's what the bible says that they that be planted in the house of the lord shall flourish in the courts of our god are we bible students it says in old age they shall be fat and flourishing there are many trees there are many trees on earth that are older than humans and those trees don't plan to go anywhere you see them flourish and refuse to die hallelujah aware that they might be drought they still refuse to die they made sure that their roots went down down enough and here's what the bible says he shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water you know what that means you don't have to wait for seasons again a tree that is not planted by water will have to wait for rainy season but a tree that is planted by the streams of water it is only its fruits that it brings in season not its survival hallelujah the wonder working power of god is made manifest when we call upon him let's look at a few scriptures jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3 hallelujah jeremiah 33 and verse 3 call unto me the mighty one is saying and i will answer thee and i will show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not call on to me he says and i will answer you that means when there is no call there will not be any response call and i will respond call and i will respond call concerning the health situation i will respond call concerning the job situation i will respond psalms 145 and verse 18 psalms 145 and verse 18 i love the bible the lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him did you see the word all there he's nigh not to men of god that call upon him he's nigh not to preachers not to apostles not to prophets he is nigh unto all all them that call upon him all them that call upon him and he says to all that call upon him in truth that means there are people who call upon him but don't mean it they are just saying it so that it will look like they are not idol worshippers but they don't intend to see him manifest jesus where are you jesus come and he says no you are playing games you are not serious it is clear from your hearts that you have other alternatives but there are people who call upon him in truth have mercy upon me thou son of david i have no other god some may trust in horses and chariots i do not even have that luxury there is no horse and there's no chariot anywhere if you do not help me say unto thee O god do i lift up my soul he says oh my god let me not be ashamed is that in your bible it says let not my enemies triumph over me you can like you can share and um, god's grace will continue to make it active with contents that would that would bless you and um subscribe to our, our our youtube channel and you can like and share all our other pages our platforms and the lord himself will truly bless you